During the late evening of February 11th, 2022, the body camera of an unnamed Phoenix, Arizona police officer showed him responding to the scene of a reported home invasion in which one person had been reported killed. Approaching the door with his guard down, the officer was completely caught by surprise when the 911 caller, Morris Richard Jones III, pulled a handgun on him, shooting him in the arm and leaving him unable to return fire or otherwise defend himself as he scrambled for cover. The officer managed to flee the scene with a gunshot injury to his right arm, and the second officer on scene returned fire and hit Jones non-fatally. A total of nine officers were shot responding to the same incident over the next few hours, before Morris Jones shot and killed himself. Jones had been responsible for killing his girlfriend, and then calling in her death to emergency services as a home invasion, before attacking responding officers with a variety of firearms. On August 12, 2023, a noise complaint was made for a residence in Middletown, Connecticut. The responding officer, Detective Carly Travis, attempted to apprehend the suspect, 52-year-old Winston Tate, a man with 14 prior criminal convictions. When she did so, Tate charged at her with a claw hammer, striking her multiple times as she screamed in terror and pain. Can you put that down, please? What? Can you put that down, please? Now! Call your fucking Back up, face. come up, hot. Stop! Fucking Stop! 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 during which time Detective Travis was able to wound him with a gunshot, after being repeatedly beaten by the hammer. Both Tate and Travis were hospitalized for their injuries. On February 14, 2021, New Mexico State Trooper Darian Jarrett was part of a group of police officers from state and federal agencies tasked with apprehending Omar Felix Cueva, a violent criminal who was wanted for drug trafficking. He was the first officer to encounter and pull over Cueva as part of the planned operation on Interstate 10, and Cueva initially appeared civil and cooperative. Trooper Jarrett politely asked Cueva to exit his truck, which he appeared to do, but as he walked past the bed of the truck, he quickly surprised Jarrett with a rifle that he had been concealing on the other side of the vehicle. So calm. Traffic. <laughs> Gonna be on I-10. Eastbound at about the 101. Oh, attempt tag 0527. Edward Paul. It's gonna be a white Chevy pickup. One aboard. Can't tell what state the temp tag's out of. Afternoon, sir. My name is Darren Jarrett. I'm with New Mexico State Police. The reason for the stop is your window tint's a little too dark. Right. Yeah. You mind if I open the door? Or if you want to roll down the window more? Ah. It's too dark. Yeah. 
I noticed you got temp tags. You got a registration for the vehicle? Yes, sir. I'll need registration and driver's license as well. Right, you got Okay. All right, do you have insurance for the vehicle? Yeah, where is it? It's with the wallet. I mean, if you ever um, come with me to my vehicle, that way I can run your name and date of birth, and then that way I can get my return, okay? Go ahead, shut the vehicle off. If you want, it's up to you. You can run my name if you want. Well, I know. Well, I should have the phone actually. Hey, can you send me the photo of my, of my license if you find my wallet? That'll work. Grab the phone and come with me to my vehicle so I can get the return and then I can make sure that everything's good. Okay. What was your name? Omar Cueva. Omar Cueva? Yes, sir. Alright, Mr. Cueva. While she's sending the pic, let's go so that I can run my checks on you. Take it off you for my safety. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go to my vehicle, okay? Come on. Oh, shit! Okay. Dead. Shot in the head. Yeah, state police. Uh, we're just west of the Aquila exit on I-10. Uh, it, it's a New Mexico state police vehicle's pull over. An unmarked law enforcement vehicle. Okay. Cueva um. shot Jarrett multiple times at close range, killing him. 
A few minutes later, other officers participating in the interagency operation arrived on the scene and chased Cueva before cornering him. Another shootout then ensued in which Cueva injured yet another police officer before being shot dead. This dashcam video begins with Michigan State Police Trooper Gary Guild pursuing a stolen motorcycle driven by Michael Barber on February 20th, 2017, along countryside roads in Michigan's Berrien County. After a short chase, he manages to force Barber off the road and off of the motorcycle itself and into the ditch. Edward George, 910. Edward George, 910. Instead of being dazed, hurt, or giving up as a result of the motorcycle accident, Barber chooses to attack Guild at his driver's side door as soon as the chase comes to an end. In the footage, Officer Guild quickly gains the upper hand in the ensuing altercation, when Barber's half-brother, Travis Wise, arrives on the scene, and joins his brother in attacking Guild. Unable to fight off two attackers at once, Guild can be seen being restrained by Wise as Barber begins repeatedly hitting the officer while reaching for his gun. Up against such odds, the outcome probably would have been fatal for Officer Guild, had two passing motorists not intervened and saved his life. Both Barber and Wise were sentenced to over 10 years in prison as a result of the incident.